Oh yeah. The big blue journey has begun. The arcade one up. That can happen. Let me hit you with that. This show is intended for mature audiences only. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, humans, and welcome to another episode of Gen X Gamer. That's right. I've ordered Big Blue. How did I do it? Let's go over it. Guys, from talking to you, from talking to the community, and seeing all the things that you guys were doing out there regarding Arcade 1-Up and the different cabinets that, that were out there, I decided on, on two of them, right? But the deal that I had with my wife, because she's... <laughs> Before we even got married, we spoke about this, you know, because I have I have so many games, guys. And for those of you who are new, maybe you don't know this, but I have tons of games, right? I have some in storage. I have a bunch here in the house. And I'm talking, you know, a lot, enough to buy a car if I sold them, right? So she said, well, if we're going to put this in here, some stuff has to go. That should pay for the stuff that you're putting in here, right? And from speaking to Rexer, to some of the other fans out there, console fanboy seeing what you guys were doing. And, you know, I don't, you know, and again, I don't know who gets along out there, guys. I'm just seeing everybody that's, that's out there. Uh, the moat is out there. And I'm watching at everything that they're doing and upgrading, you know, in different channels. And from that, I got the idea that I wanted to do one of these, at least one, right? But uh, the only way I could really do it is moving stuff around here, getting rid of some stuff, and using that in order to, you know, uh, finance the purchase of, of this other stuff. Because my wife, <laughs> it's a tough sell. But she said, you know what, if you get to the number we agreed to, she'll order it. And she kept her word. So let me show you what happened. So this is the model here that I got. I got it from GameStop. I'm not showing you the exact page because, you know, I don't want to tox myself. But this is it. Big Blue. Now, what did I sell to get this, right? I sold two things. I sold a Ford Bronco, brand new Ford Bronco bumper, and some tires, right? I got 200 for the tires. I got 80 for this. I got 280, right? And that's what I used in order to purchase the cabinet. On top of that, I had a $15 coupon from GameStop. So it was $3.99 minus a $15. It was $384.99. Taxes, of course, $4.21. From the $4.21, you take down the $280, $141. This is around the price that is best for me. Why? Because I have to upgrade the crap out of it, right? As I tell you before, these are more models, you know, that this is the way that I see them, right? And, and everybody has a different opinion, guys. This is just my view after speaking to all of you uh, from, you know, from speaking to people that don't like these, they said, you know, these are too much and you're going to have to upgrade them. You're going to have to change parts, do this and that and the other. So you shouldn't pay more uh, than 200, 250. The Rexer and, uh, and others were in agreement, for example, that that would be the price. From the pro side, I saw a lot of people that were having these and upgrading them and doing some really good things, man. Um, and, and they had a lot of uh, people that they had contact with and to, to upgrade, you know, buttons and, and vinyls specifically. That's what I need to do on this one. And the vinyls that I want don't even exist. So if you guys know who makes custom vinyls, let me know because that's what I'm going to do for this machine. But I have to fund all this by selling some of the stuff that I have, specifically the duplicate stuff. So... Let me show you the type of stuff that I'm going to be selling because you might find that interesting too, right? I mean, I'm just taking you along uh, for the journey. I have, for example, something has to go, right? And uh, it's it's hard to pick when you're a game hoarder. <laughs> but uh, the Evercade has to go, right? I don't want it to go, but I got to sell some, right? Uh, my extra uh, Atari uh, arcade stick has to go. Right? I already have one. It's great, but I have to sell it. I have some extra PS4 games that I have to sell. I have PS2 stuff. I'm putting this stuff in OfferUp. I'm putting it on eBay, different different places, guys. I have some 360 games, duplicates that I have to sell, and even some 
I even have some original Xbox games. Let me show you here. So that's just some of the things. It's not all the things that I have, but I just wanted to give you an overview of the things that I have to sell. So I'm going to use that in order to fund the the improvement of the cabinet because you know these cabinets <laughs> they need a lot of work in order to get them to where you want them to be number one number two it's fun to upgrade stuff right? a lot of people are having a great time uh, updating stuff so I know there's some people out, out there that buy these cabinets and they're like oh my gosh it doesn't have this and that and the other right but it, most of the people that I've seen are, are not misinformed. They know they're going to have to buy more stuff and they do it willingly. You know, and if you have the money to do that, hey, more power to you, right? I, you know, when I buy something, I, I like it to be complete to where I want it to be. If I was paying, you know, 400 plus for this cabinet, I would expect a lot more. But I'm only paying $141 because I sold some free stuff that I got, right? So that makes it a different dynamic. At this price, you know, I'm really just buying a model kit and I'm working on it, right? And for many of you, that might be the way to go. Because even though these are smaller, right? They're not full-size arcades. They, they do work for small apartments, right? Like I live in Silicon Valley, right? There isn't a lot of space here. So these are perfect for where I'm at. Right. If you have a double garage and you have a game room and stuff like that, maybe you want to go to the, to the real thing. For me, that's never going to be a choice because the places that I stay, they're all small. <laughs> if if I brought a big cabinet in here or a pinball machine, my wife would probably divorce me. So that is my journey so far, guys. I wanted to share those thoughts with you, show you what I've done and how I've gotten here. And if you guys have any... Um, ideas where I can get some custom uh, vinyl done, let me know. Uh, if you know where I can get some great prices for the sticks, because I definitely have to upgrade those. There's other custom mods that I'm thinking about doing myself, right? And I'll share those with you, right? Because I think there's a couple of things I haven't seen done yet. So I want to do those and share those stuff with you, that stuff with you. Anyway, that'll be uh, just a segment that I'll be doing on the arcade one up until I'm done with that one. And then the other one that I was eyeballing was the Ultimate Legend, right? I really like that one too. But that's going to be a whole bunch of other stuff <laughs> to be sold in order to get that one. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. I appreciate your comments. I appreciate the subscriptions. And let me tell you, we're just getting started. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.